This protocol enables a researcher to identify mutant C anemones during early embryogenesis so that post-embryonic developmental phenotype can be analyzed. The main advantage of this technique is that it can be used to genotype individual C anemones early in ontogeny without sacrificing the life of the animal. Demonstrating this procedure will be Miguel Silva, a graduate student from my laboratory. On the day before spawning induction, place C. anemone nematostella vectensis in a temperature and light controlled incubator, programming the incubator so that the animals are exposed to 8 hours of light at 25 degrees Celsius. On the following day, remove the animals from the incubator and leave them on a bench top at room temperature with the light on to allow spawning, which will occur within the following one and a half to two hours. Use a transfer pipette whose tip is cut to enlarge the opening to place egg packages from the female container into a sperm-containing male container and leave them in the male container for at least 15 minutes to allow for fertilization. After fertilization, to de-jelly the egg packages, place them in seawater containing 3% cysteine on a glass petri dish and gently agitate on a shaker for 12 minutes. Then break up clumps with a plastic pipette and continue to agitate for another 2-3 to three minutes until completely de-jellied. Keep the fertilized eggs on the same dish at 16 degrees Celsius or at room temperature. On the next day, prepare DNA extraction buffer as described in the manuscript, mix well by vortexing, and...